Sometimes the bulk and seam allowances can add lumps to your clothes where you don't want them. To prevent these mishaps, after the seam is sewn, you go back in and trim anything that's no longer needed. What and where you trim or clip has to do with where the seam is located. The same thing is true of how you press a seam. I'll show you some of the tricks for doing this right now. Outside corners can be almost any place, such as a pocket, cuff, or on a waistband, for example. But they can get a buildup of seam allowances. So, before you turn them to the right side after you've sewn them, trim the corners to reduce the number of layers inside. Curves are concave and convex. Depending on where they fall in a garment, they may not need clipping. I have a princess seam here to use as an example because it contains both the concave and convex edge. This curve is convex. When the raw edge of a seam allowance is longer than the seam line, it buckles when you try to press it open and it won't lay flat. Cut tiny V's in the seam allowances needed to flatten the ripples so it can be pressed smoothly. You can tell how much to cut because the ripples are like little darts. Just cut them off. When the curve is concave, the raw edge is shorter than the seam line. And in order for the seam to press open smoothly, you have to clip into the seam allowance so the edge can spread to add extra length. Intense curved seams like this need to be pressed over a curved form so you don't crease your fabric. Trim under the arms in set-in sleeves and between the legs in the curved center seam on pants. These seams are left standing. They are often given another row of stitches inside the seam allowance about one fourth inch from the seam line and then the remaining seam allowance is trimmed. Sometimes one seam needs to go in two different directions. Here the seam becomes part of the pocket insertion. To enable it to change directions you clip into the seam allowance without cutting through the stitches. When seams go into hem allowances, there's no need to double up the seam allowances. Cut the seam allowance that's on the hem allowance side in half to reduce bulk. These tips will help you make beautiful garments with smooth seams and no lumpy corners, ripply curves, or bulging hems. See you next time.